Hey guys, it's Lance and Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm going to be doing a little product review slash testing with Thunderbolt 5 and this little guy. The Acasas TB501 supports up to 80 gigabits per second. It's a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure, one of the few that are out there, and I'm going to be adding this to my setup as well, a Thunderbolt 4 docking station 21 in 1. So this is for my Mac Mini Pro setup. That that I am currently running, and I'm going to be putting a Western Digital Black SN850X NVMe into the Acasis TB501 enclosure. Links in the description, and I have discount codes for you for the Acasis products where you can save up to 20%. Acasis has a list of supported NVMEs. It's very important to pick one of the supported ones because you will not get Thunderbolt 5 speeds if you have the wrong unsupported NVMe in the enclosure. So I only have 512 gigs internal, and this is going to give me two terabytes external. Thunderbolt 5 is expensive, but the speeds you get should be ridiculous, and it should outperform the internal speeds. So let's check it out. So we'll just insert our NVMe. You don't need any tools. You just flip it over and open up the bottom of the case, grabbing it with your thumb and just lift up. And I added the little rubber bumpers because it keeps the unit from sliding around on your desk. I always add these to hard drives. And it gives a little more air circulation for the fan. And this unit does have a built-in fan. NVMEs run quite hot, especially when you're really pushing them. So it's a good idea to have the fan. And it's not an adjustable fan, it's just on. And I find if I place the drive under my desk, I don't even hear it. And they give you two thermal pads, a thin one and a thin thicker one, I put the thick one on the door cover and I put the thin one on the NVMe. So we'll compare the built-in M4 Pro Mac Mini's 512 gig drive to the Acasis and see what kind of speeds we get. This is the Mac Mini and we're getting close to 6,000 on the read and 4,000 on the right. So here's the TB501 on a dedicated Thunderbolt 5 port on the Mac Mini M4 Pro with the Western Digital Black SN850X. And it's beaten it, which is pretty impressive for an external drive. Uh, we're almost at 7,000 megabytes per second read and 6,000 write. And if you look at the random read and writes, which are the bottom two tests, the Acasis wins on the writes on both tests and the Mini wins on the read test on just one of the tests, but otherwise the Acasis beats it in all of the other tests. And just for fun, here is the Zeit Drive RAID 0 I had with my home folder on it before I switched over to the Mac Mini Pro, and the Acasis is beating them on every test except for the sequential right. And those always fluctuate, but you can see that the single Thunderbolt 5 enclosure is beating dual USB 4 drives in a RAID 0 configuration. Pretty impressive. I also tried the dual Zyk Drive RAID 0 config on the Mac Mini M4 Pro, and as you can see, the speeds are basically exactly the same as they were on the base model Mac Mini, because it's Thunderbolt 4, and you can only get 3000 megabytes per second per drive. The other thing that's super impressive about this drive is the fact it's running so cool. It's only at 44 centigrade, and that's exactly where the Mac Mini drive is sitting at, 44 centigrade. When I was using the dual Zyk drives in a RAID 0, a RAID 0 is always going to use more power. It's going to make the drives run hotter. You want to plug this? Okay. Say hello to my little friend! And it's, of course, much riskier than having one enclosure doing all the work in a single drive. So I'm running my external home folder, I'm editing this video, and I have not gone over 44 centigrade in this entire hour of editing. Pretty impressive. And of course, a lot of that's due to the fact that the enclosure has a fan. I can hear the fan from the enclosure, but if I place it under my desk, which I have a little table below it, I can't hear it at all. So you can position the drive so you do not hear the fan at all. And honestly, you don't want to be touching 
metal enclosures because if you have a major static charge and you touch a drive, it can eject it from your desktop and possibly also erase data. So always put your metal enclosure drives that are attached to your computer somewhere where you're not gonna touch them while everything is turned on. And as you can see, my home folder on the Acasis drive is using almost 500 gigs. So I've already eaten up all that space that would have been on the internal drive. I'd only have about 30 gigs left. And because I'm running my home folder, my user account on the external drive, I have 460 gigs available to me on my internal drive. And I don't have to worry about overfilling up my internal drive. So while this setup is gonna cost you about $400, to get a Mac Mini M4 Pro with two terabytes, it's gonna cost you an additional $600 but you could go with a four terabyte external drive and the savings would be even more so. And currently there are upgrade options for the base model Mac Mini, the M4, not the M4 Pro. There's not an internal SSD that you can swap out for that yet, but there probably will be soon. But if you run out of storage with the external drive, you can always buy a bigger NVMe, right? It's simple. And you're not voiding your warranty by opening up your Mac and possibly messing it up. So I thought I'd do a stress test reading and writing to the disk and you can see the first test, which is where the red arrow is, never got really up to 60 centigrade. And because I have two of these enclosures, I tried disconnecting the fan on the second one, put the same NVMe into it and ran the test again. And you can see it runs quite a bit hotter without the fan and got close to throttling, but it never did throttle. It kind of went way up and then came back down a little bit. Then I reconnected the fan and ran the test one more time and you can see that it really does help to have the fan on. And this is something your Mini really needs, which is a great dock. And this thing is awesome. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. It has 21 ports. It's a Thunderbolt 4 docking station. So it uses one of your Thunderbolt ports on your Mini. I get 120 hertz out of it with my 4K monitor. It's got two Thunderbolt ports on the back, one that connects to the computer and two that can go out to other Thunderbolt devices. It's got a mic input, a headphone jack on the back, a headphone jack on the front, four 10 gigabit USB-A ports, an HDMI port, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, micro SD card reader and an SD card reader, two more 10 gigabit USB-C ports on the front, a charging USB-C port with 30 watts of charge. I mean, this thing's got it all and it's got a power button so you can turn it on and off. You don't have to have it on all the time if you don't want to and you're not gonna have to go behind your mini and plug things in all the time or plug them into the front of the mini. I think this is the star of our show right here. This is a really good dock. It's been extremely reliable. And of course, no computer setup is complete without a good solid backup plan. And I'm using the Acasis TBU405 Pro Max for my Time Machine backup. It's got two NVMe slots, a switchable fan, a 10 gigabit USB-A port, a 4K 60 Hertz HDMI output, and two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one connecting to the computer and the other one to connect to another SSD or even a 4K external monitor at 120 hertz. It's a very viable hub for a base model Mac Mini. It is using a single Thunderbolt port for two NVMEs, so your speeds will be limited by that. It's a great little hub and it's perfect for Time Machine. And that's basically it, folks. My new Mac Mini M4 Pro setup with the Cassis Thunderbolt 5 enclosure, getting incredible speeds with my home folder on it. 90% of my data is on that drive and the beautiful dock. I love the dock. It's just so versatile and I've had no disconnects or anything like that. It's worked. It's been very solid and you can get 15% off with my discount code. Okay. I just want to say thanks to all those people who are giving me super thanks. That is very nice of you. Uh, that's a new thing that started to happen from my instructional videos, which I will continue to do. So please subscribe to my channel, give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video. There's my coffee.